fun movie set going on here. Want an example like this? This is the important line. This is the important line. And you want it exactly like this. The interior design was inspired by the serenity of the forest and the natural elements surrounding this magical region. Good morning, everyone. How are you? What a beautiful morning. Oh my gosh, I feel so lucky, so grateful, and so blessed right now to be on this walk. I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> it's a Tuesday morning, and uh, it's about 10.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful spring day in Vancouver, and I am out walking in my happy place. This is like, an enchanted forest. That's what I like to call it. And I feel like there's a lot of really good energy in here. So this is one of my absolute favorite walks to do. I feel like this is such a spiritual place. I absolutely love doing it with my baby who is just having a snooze. Good morning. Don't I? Selfie. I am. <laughs> got the baby, got the dog. <laughs> you just need a coffee in your hand now. Right? <laughs> My dog is not cooperating this morning. Yes, I was saying, I feel like this is this amazing enchanted forest. Vancouver is known for its unbelievable landscape and for its rainforest like vegetation, which is exactly what this is. Every single time I come in here, I always think, I don't know, I always get connected to myself, the spiritual side of myself. I always feel incredibly grounded. I always feel really inspired. I feel really clear. Um, so this is just the best way to start my morning. I also, because I'm constantly multitasking, I'm often doing calls. Uh, so I'll spend the time doing my work calls, kind of doing triple duty here, quadruple duty maybe, doing a dog walk, the baby sleeping, work calls, I get a workout. I'm hitting it from all sides, which is how you do it when you're a mom. <laughs> I've come to learn, but I do really feel so grateful that I'm able to do this. There's nowhere else I would rather be. And um, so nice to spend this time with baby Madison who seems to love just looking around at the trees, at the forest. Yeah, it's really, really special. So if you can see me sweating a little bit, I can feel I've got a full on sweat stash going right now. Um, what's worked really well for me as a new mom has been scaling down my business. It was something that I've talked about, I think this, I think I talk about this all the time on my channel, I don't know why, maybe because I feel like this is just such a huge monumental thing for me. <laughs> um, as a business owner and an entrepreneur, 
you're sort of obsessed, or at least I was obsessed with getting bigger, bigger, more people, more staff, more projects, more profitable, bigger office, etc., etc., etc. Because as a business owner, that's sort of what success looks like, or that's what you think success looks like. So I was on this crazy path. I don't want to say crazy path, but um, I was very focused and dedicated and determined and tenacious about building my company the way that I did prior to me taking a break on social media. And since then, I've downsized my team, I've downsized the number of projects that I have, and it's freed up so much space for me to be a mom, which has now become the most important job in my life. It's so special, I feel so privileged and so lucky that I get to be a mom to Baby Madison. Um, and I couldn't be doing it, I couldn't be juggling everything that I'm juggling had I not downsized my company and downsized my team. So I don't see it as failure, I actually see it as success to be totally honest. It's worked out really, really well for me. And if I'm being really honest, I feel like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, I'm in the best place that I've ever been. I'm so much happier than I was when I had an enormous team, a ton of projects on the go, and a really big company to run. Okay, come on. So, I guess I'm doing this walk this morning with a lot of gratitude in my heart, a lot of appreciation. I'm feeling very present and in the moment. And I just wanted to share that with you all. Hi, honey. Aw, aren't you too cute? Too cute. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm already behind a little bit, which is making me a little bit nervous for the day. I'm going to quickly get ready. I have to do feeding with Madison, then I'm going to buzz off into the office for the afternoon. Um, I'm filming a little promotional video for a development company that I'm working on. And then I'm going to be in the office for the afternoon for a creative meeting. So I thought it would be kind of fun to bring you guys with me into the office. It's, uh, you haven't been there for a little while, so we're going to go there together. Let's set the tone, a bottle of red wine and pheromones. The conversation flows, a couple of hours, see how it goes. Trust my senses, catch me if I fall So done with second guessing, you seem to have it all In love enough for anything, emotional too soon You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right
Okay, I'm in the office and the lights are out because we have a full on movie set going on here. You are the director and producer? Yeah, we're both kind of producing, directing, dp <laughs> What's your name again? Josias and Jason. Josias and Jason. 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 And Jason. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Okay, I'm going to... excited? Gonna I am excited. I love doing this kind of stuff. I bet the team can't wait till it's done though. Like, get it over with. <laughs> I have a task for you after two if you. We're gonna make up? Yeah. Okay. But I'm sure you're very uh, experienced with yeah. mics like that. I'll just have the tape first. Okay. I've got my Chanel glasses on. So I'm gonna wear these in the video. Kind of wanted to do something different. And then you can see behind me. It's been a while since you guys have come to the studio with me, but we've got lights off, blinds are down. Lighting, got a boom, um, a new plant that just showed up, which is great. More lighting over here. Uh, crystal over there on the couch. And we're gonna get ready to film this video. So while I do this, Maria is gonna take a little bit of behind the scenes. Ooh, that lighting is kind of cool. Hi, Maria. <laughs> Important line. This is the important line. And you want it exactly like this. The interior design was inspired by the serenity of the forest and the natural elements surrounding this magical region. Okay. So the interior design you. was very much inspired by the beauty of. The interior design was inspired by the serenity of the forest and the natural elements surrounding this magical region. The interior design was very much inspired by the beautiful natural elements in this region, including the unbelievable ocean and the beautiful forest. Uh, the interior design is <laughs> very much inspired by the natural elements. <laughs> Do I, I feel like I look like a teacher. Okay kids, the interior design was very much inspired. <laughs> We were very much inspired by the amazing natural elements in this magical region, including the unbelievable ocean and the beautiful forest. The interior design was inspired by the serenity of the forest and the natural elements surrounding this magical region. Surrounding this magical region. I nailed the line, you guys. Got it. Should have been rolling. And action. Oh my gosh, that felt good. I'm gonna do that again. <sighs> you might wanna do one with me. Ready? Deep breath in and out. <sighs> Whew, that felt good. Oscar, you want to come up? Do you want to come up? You want to come up here? You want to snuggle? You want to come up or you just want to sit outside? You want to come up? You want to snuggle? It's okay. Um, again, rookie mistake. I did not bring any extra batteries with me. So just as I was jumping into my creative meeting, with my design team, battery was done. Uh, but that's okay, we shot tons in the office, which is great, and I'm happy that you got to come along with me 
for the day today. It's been really, really fun actually having picked up the vlogging camera again and just connecting with you guys on the fly. Very improv, ad lib, in the moment, off the cuff kind of style. I've really enjoyed hanging out with you. So I would love to hear from you if you're liking these vlogs, first of all. I've been handling the editing on my own. So do let us know if you're liking this more sort of simple, off the cuff type of vlog. I definitely have been enjoying doing it, that's for sure. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. I'm very, very, very tired. So I'm going to sit here as the sun sets in my beautiful backyard. You guys, let me show you. You have to see what I'm looking at right now. Like this, this is incredible. Okay, hang on. So this is literally the view. It's so nice from exactly where I'm sitting right now. This is what I'm looking at. This absolutely feels like luxury to me. It does. This absolutely feels like luxury to me. This is just, oh my gosh, it's so nice. And to be able to sit here on a beautiful spring day, just kind of take in the day. Madison is down. I just did another feeding with her, so she's sleeping. Oscar is next to me. It was a very busy but productive day and I'm extremely tired, but just to take it all in, sit here in the open air with this amazing scenery and landscape around me, I definitely feel like this is amazing. I feel very blessed. I feel very at peace. I feel very much in the moment. And I'm just so grateful that I made the decision to slow down and to take a minute, to take a beat. Life doesn't always have to be about hustling, about the next job, about Oscar's chewing rocks right now. <laughs> and you should be doing that. That's not good for your teeth, but I know you love to do that. It's like your favorite, your favorite thing is to chew on pebbles. I don't know why Frenchies like to do that. They just love that. Uh, yeah, I think that pre-COVID, it was just all about the hustle. And not just pre-COVID, but pre-downsize. It was all about the hustle, about the next job, about more jobs, about the bigger team, about the bigger office, about moving into new office space, about more revenue, about more profit, more, 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 bigger, bigger, bigger. Hustle, hustle, hustle. And choosing to downsize coincidentally doing it in COVID gave me this incredible opportunity to just slow down and become present. And I can't tell you how much being present feels inspiring. It feels enriching. It feels enlivening. It feels fulfilling. It feels peaceful, at least it does for me. At least it does for me. And I don't know if I could ever go back to the craziness that I was living before. Sometimes I wonder if I continue vlogging, what the heck am I gonna vlog about if it wasn't that like crazy, insane, heightened level of pace of work. Um, but I think really being present and enjoying life is the meaning of life. At least that's what I've learned in this last year. And I'm so grateful to have learned that lesson and to be learning that lesson and to be on this crazy adventure that is life, but to be doing it at a much slower pace. And so I truly hope that you will continue to join me on this adventure, albeit slower, because um, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really, really good. 
So on that note, I guess I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. If you've made it to this point, I so appreciate you for sticking around and watching all the way to the end. Definitely let me know in the comments below whether you've been liking this style of vlog. As always, I love hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Please hit that like button that does wonders for us in the algorithm. And uh, I can't wait to see you in the next vlog. Take care, my friends, and take a minute to be present. Mm -hmm.